Hello YouTubers, Alaska Prepper here. Ladies and gentlemen, yesterday my wife and I took a trip to Costco and I was really interested in going to check and see the prices. And you just have to remember one thing about the prices is they don't have a choice. They either raise the prices or they're going to go out of business. That's all there is to it. So enjoy the video. Now right here as we come in ladies and gentlemen, take a look at these cashews. These cashews, I looked this up on a previous video and about a year ago, July of 2021, these cashews were $14.29. Now they're up a little more than $2 than they were a year ago. That may not sound like a lot, but it adds up when you do it percentage-wise. Now this, ladies and gentlemen, is a great little generator. It's the one that I have, or one of the three that I have. I remember picking this up for $349 on sale, and now... $489.99 although I think it's still a good deal at that price these always come in handy whenever you don't think you're gonna need them you need them so it's nice to have a set in your vehicle and look at this ladies and gentlemen they have whole house generators now this is actually a pretty big one look at this and it's uh, although I wouldn't buy one of these because the setup I have now is great but this here is 22,000 kilowatts or 22 kilowatt, 22,000 watts. That's a really good deal. And it works off of LP gas and it's a 200 amp service. And this here, ladies and gentlemen, I just don't like this. I don't like it enough to even buy it on sale. It's normally $549.99, $399.99 now, but I just don't like the setup. I think they should have left it the way that they had it before where it's the big Duracell that you see that I've reviewed in the past. I think that one works perfect. This one you can't even hook up to external batteries. It does have a lithium battery, which is good, but it's only like 500 watt hours. And if you can't hook it up to external batteries, only 500 watt hours is not that much. And for 399, 500 watt hours is just, I don't think it's worth it. Now look at this. Oh my goodness. We might have to, what is this? Oh, look at this, ladies and gentlemen, a thousand lumens. $17.99. You know, I think that a lot of the things that we're going to see today that are at decent prices are things that have been sitting in a container ship out at sea for the last six to nine months. Right? I think that's what this is, these kinds of things. But when we get to the food aisles, then we'll see what the prices really are you know, for food stuff. But things that are like this, electronics, generators, things like that, these things have been sitting out in a dock for several months. That's, that's what I think. And this, ladies and gentlemen, if you remember me getting one of these several months ago on one of my payday preps, I remember exactly what I paid for it. And it was $49.99. So this is at a 20% increase than it was last time, however, Having said that, I have to say that I think that it is a very good deal, even at $60. Now, this is something else that I remember seeing at a lower price before. Why? Because I have one of these. These are awesome little carts. You can actually fold them down to push them as an actual cart. You see, like that? Or you can push it like that, standing up. And when I bought mine, it was $99.99. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I remember telling you all a while back, I forgot how long ago this was, but sometime this year, get your batteries now because batteries are going to become harder and harder to find because of the lithium shortage we have, because of the cobalt shortage we have, etc., etc. Look at this. This is the battery section at Costco. And it's not because they're on sale, because they're not. Right now, these... uh double-a batteries right here $13.99 and look at this it's got the star which means that they're not gonna come back guess what that means ladies and gentlemen I'm guessing that that means that when they do come back it'll either be at a higher price or a smaller pack at the same price or a higher price we'll have to keep our eyes on that I'm actually gonna pick some of these up but if you remember a year or a little over a year ago this used to be a 48 pack for the same price and we're gonna have to see what this star means because I think it means that they're gonna come back with either a smaller pack or a higher price and a smaller pack 
Now, if you take a look at the triple A's, the triple A's are 40, all right, 40, but for $18.99, and you don't see a star on that one. So I'm guessing that these guys are going to come back at a higher price. They probably need packages with the new SKU on it that has the higher price. So I'm going to pick myself a few of these up. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I figured out the riddle. Actually, my wife helped me figure it out. Check this out. This is Duracell AAA, all right, 40-pack. Duracell AAA 40-pack. This one says Power Boost. This one doesn't. Both of these are guaranteed for 12 years. But check this out. They are, they are the exact same batteries. You see that model number? Same as that one. The SKUs are different. The SKUs are different. And the reason why the SKUs are different is because this one right here, where they changed the name on it, is now $18.99. Whereas this one is one of the old style that since they didn't change the name, is at the old price of $13.99. So if you still have some of these batteries at your Costco, it's the exact same battery, as far as I can tell. Get them now because they're going to be going up in price by $5 per pack. So the dog food prices have gone up just a little bit, ladies and gentlemen, but not that much. Not as much as I've heard that they've gone up in other places. But they are pretty well stocked on dog food. And I'm not sure if they still have a limit of one bag per. Uh, usually we're at least a good bag uh, extra in the house, you know. So whenever we finish uh, the bin, we go ahead and put in the newer bag in there and then go get another bag. Now this, ladies and gentlemen, I remember when these used to be like $13 and change regular price. And they would go on sale for like $9 and change. And now their regular price is $18. And as you can see, they're on sale now for $14.79. And this is the detergent that we use at home. And I know that it's going up in price because this is what we normally buy. $20.99. And uh, not too long ago, they were $19.99. And not long before that, they were $18.99. So definitely gone up in price. And these ladies and gentlemen have definitely gone up in price. Look at that, $14.59. Uh, I don't remember exactly what it was, but I definitely know it wasn't $14.59 because we used to be able to buy these on sale for like less than $9, like $8.99. Same thing with the blue ones. Holy guacamole. Ladies and gentlemen, we've been buying these garbage bags for a while. Look at that, $20. And this Dawn Platinum Dish Detergent, $11.49. This used to be $10 and change, and I remember getting it on sale for $8 and change. Everything, almost everything, is going up in price. I can't say everything, but almost everything has gone up in price so far. And that right there, ladies and gentlemen, is what made my trip to go halibut fishing worthwhile. A lot of people think that because we live in Alaska that we can get, you know, fish and crab for really cheap. But look at this, this is crab legs, $37 a pound. These beef cubes are no longer $5.49 a pound. We're looking at $7.49 now. And their regular 88 12 ground beef, guess what? Still the same price. They need to keep a cheap beef around in order to work that number into their CPI so that it makes it look like prices aren't really going up. That's one of the tricks that governments use to keep the CPI numbers or the inflation numbers down. Now their meat is pretty well stocked, but for some reason their pork seems to be a little bit understocked. But here for pork loin, $3.29 a pound. For pork shoulder uh, style ribs, $3.29 a pound. And for pork bellies, 
four ninety nine a pound. I can't say that it's too terrible what they're charging for the pork, but it's still a lot more than what we were used to paying, ladies and gentlemen. I remember for for pork loin, I remember paying in the past like less than two bucks, a buck fifty a pound. Ladies and gentlemen, I just got a price shock. This is the pack of chicken that they take from the rotisserie and then they sell it as leftovers. These used to come in a pack of two, all right? These used to come in a pack of two before for like $12.99. Look at how much it is now. This is a pack of one. Incredible. And look at that, ladies and gentlemen, the Kirkland back tissue, $23.29. Remember when it used to be $19.99? Here's their coffee aisle. I'm just gonna walk real quick so you can see the prices. So here we have Starbucks coffee, $7.87 a pound. We have the Kirkland brand, Colombian, $6.46. We have the Kirkland brand French roast, $8.99. The Mountain Blend. Whole bean coffee, five dollars a pound. That's not bad. Five eleven. Same thing for the Colombian uh, whole bean coffee. I guess the name of the company here is named Steam Dot. Now, this, ladies and gentlemen, although I think it's still a great deal at seven seventy nine, we all know this went up in price too. It used to be in the six dollar range, and uh, now it's in the seven dollar range. This definitely went up in price as well. This used to be in the $11 range. Now it's in the $12 range. However, this is an outstanding maple syrup. I think it comes from Canada. I'm not sure for 100%. And here is our peanut butter aisle, ladies and gentlemen. I can't tell about those prices over there, but I do know that this went up in price, your peanut butter powder. However, this is very good quality and it lasts a very long time. These guys right here were in the $9 range. Now they're in the $10 range. Not sure about this Adams, nor am I sure about the Nutella. Not too many changes in here, ladies and gentlemen. I did notice that these, every once in a while, we would get a pack of these hard boiled eggs and they were $11 in change. Now they're 12, uh, but the regular eggs that we normally buy are these guys right here. And although a while back they did go up in price to $7.69 from like $6.69, they haven't gone up in price again since. So there are pretty much no change here in the egg department. The regular milk has gone up. This used to be for two one-gallon packs. So these comes in packs of two gallons. It used to be $7 and change and now it's $9.96. So this has gone up considerably, almost 50%, I would say. And here's our butter. The butter has really gone up a lot in the last year. Let me give you a little bit of history on the butter. About a year ago, the butter was like $7.99 for a four pound container uh, for the salted or unsalted. And then it went up to $8.99, $9.99, $10.59. Now it's $13.49. So the butter's gone up considerably. The carry gold is still pretty much the same price that it used to be. And uh, the Costco brand style carry gold, or the, the brand that's a product of New Zealand, which is, in my opinion, better than the carry gold, it's $9.99, and it hasn't changed in price since it debuted here in this Costco in Fairbanks. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the shredded cheese, the five pound bags, they have gone up in price considerably. This used to be under the $15 mark. I think somewhere in the $13 mark. Now it's in the $17 mark. Same thing for the Kirkland brand. This used to be like in the $12, $13 mark. Now it's in the $17 mark. Same thing for the mozzarella. So the cheeses have gone up considerably. Now, ladies and gentlemen, my wife just told me that since I've been so good, that I can have one of these. I love these popsicles. They're so good. My favorite is the melon, the green one. It's delicious. And they are on sale, 9.49.
Now, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know about you, but look at this. This is a 50 pound bag of sugar. As far as I'm concerned, that's pretty pricey. 25 pound bag of uh, all purpose flour, $14. And I know that down in the lower 48, it's a lot less expensive than this right here. But I remember these being like $10.99 not too long ago. And then we're looking at the 50 pound bags for $27. But you know what the thing is, is that they're still available. So get them if you can. When I started seeing these here, they were $19.99. Then I see them rise to $21.99. $28.99 for the same stuff. And when I started buying this table salt, this is the table salt that I put away for long term. It used to be less than $4, ladies and gentlemen. Now I'm talking about like five, six years ago. But look at this. In five, six years, the price has more than doubled. And it's still the same kind of salt. Nothing special about it. And for those of you that thought that I was crazy when I was buying this coconut oil here by the case... When I was buying it by the case, it was like 13, about $14 a piece. And look, more than $2 more than what it used to be before. Everything, ladies and gentlemen, is going up. And here is the olive oil that we use in our house mainly. This is the one that we use to cook almost every day. $33.49, ladies and gentlemen. I remember when this used to be, $19.99. When uh, Costco first got here, this was like $19.99, if not $18.99. Right? I know for sure that it was less than $20. But you can still get a 25-pound bag of pinto beans for $22.99, which, honestly, I don't think it's that great of a deal. I mean, it's nice to be able to buy it in bulk, one big bag, but 90, 92 cents per pound? Goodness gracious, that's actually a pretty good amount for just pinto beans. And here's your other stuff that we've got here in this aisle. These are things, you know, if I'm not showing you something, it's because normally I don't buy it. You know, I don't, I don't normally get this kind of stuff, so I really wouldn't recognize whether the price was a little higher or lower than it was before. But there's your Tabasco Sriracha sauce, $6.99. I don't eat that stuff, so I wouldn't know. But I do know that these went up in price from $10 for a 10-pound bag of noodles to $12.49. Oh, look at this. This is some short grain brown rice. I don't think I've seen this before here. And this is the kind of rice that I like, the cow rolls rice. And this is the 25 pound bag for $21. And this is the one that I normally get, this 50 pound bag. Remember getting it last year for $26, $27. Now it's $41. And we have our 25 pound bag of regular long grain rice for $14. And our 50 pound bag of long grain rice for $27. And here's the canned meat aisle. Not too many changes here for the spam. Same price as before. But about a year ago it was $19.99 for, for an 8 pack of spam 12 ounce cans. I think I've already told you in the past that the Vienna sausages went up from like $7 and change to almost $10 now. And of course we all know that the roast beef in a can went up considerably. These used to be like $12 or $13 for a 4 pack, now they're $19. Same thing with the chicken, you all know that already. And look at this one ladies and gentlemen, a 6 pack of corned beef. And I believe this is the one that I did not like. I believe I reviewed this one for you all and I did not like it at all. But a six pack of 11 and a half ounce, 11 and a half ounce, $29. I do believe that when we first started buying this chili, we buy this chili and stock up on these. These were less than $10 for an eight pack. Now you're looking at $13. All right, ladies and gentlemen, well, that's going to be it, all right? It's, you know, I came here on a, I believe today is Tuesday. Yeah, I came here on a Tuesday in the very early afternoon, hoping that it wasn't crowded here, and it just feels very crowded to me, so I got to get out of here. <laughs> I can't stand crowds or people gathering around me. So I'm going to go ahead and call it. But as you can see, prices are going up, ladies and gentlemen, on almost everything. There are some things, like I said, 
that have been stuck in a barge somewhere off the coast of California or something like that for several months that are now making it on shore and that are at a discount because they have an overflow of those items. But but you could tell that mainly the food items that, that we talked about have gone up in price considerably. You know, here here's another one right here. Check this out. This used to be $9.99. It went up 80 cents. And 80 cents doesn't sound like a lot, but it is a lot when you take it as a percentage basis. All right, ha having said that, ladies and gentlemen, have a great day. Thank you very much for joining in. Go out there and get prepped up because things are only going to continue to get more expensive. All right, God bless you all. all right, and have a great day. Now, ladies and gentlemen, just got back from our trip, and of course, you saw that I got some batteries. I ended up getting three of the double A's and one of the triple A's along with those awesome popsicles <laughs> that they have at Costco those are awesome but I forgot to show you these we tried these while we were there at Costco man if you like bacon and you like cheese these things are very addictive right warning but they are delicious and I think it says here that they are lactose free or whatever gluten free also but the point is, if you like bacon and cheese, awesome stuff.